Hello and welcome to another video with me, Zerger. Today I'm going to try and show you how to get on top of the nether roof. And these are the items that you need in exact quantities. You're going to need one ladder, <laughs> um, one obsidian, a trapdoor, a block of redstone, exactly two pistons, and some TNT. As well as a couple of ender pearls because it's not guaranteed so between the ender pearls and the TNT take uh, you know a bit more than you need and I also recommend an ender chest based on what I have seen on other videos um, also get yourself some armor with uh, resistance or you know ideally blast protection on as we're going to be standing right next to this stuff right my, this is my survival world, and in case you guys are wondering, I'm using the Chroma Hills texture pack. It just makes the game look awesome, in my opinion. Same game, all the same cool stuff, including the uh, tunes. But it just, yeah, it's uh, oh, so nice on the eyes. Let's go! This is actually my first time doing this. I'm not sure if I have mentioned that. So... I'm not too sure how this is going to turn out. I've already gone ahead of time obviously and dug all the way up. I'm assuming you guys watching this video that you do know how to get to the nether and that we are going to be digging all the way to the top where you try and get to the bedrock. And we try and get as deep of a pocket as we can. This is basically like the, the upside down <laughs> for all those Stranger Things fans out there. This is the upside down. So we are going upside down right now. And uh, this would be the Overworlds version, but we are currently going up instead of down. Get this out of the way. And what you need to do is find as deep a pocket as you can. It might take a while, but I was lucky. It didn't take me too long to find this one. And you have to press F3 on your screen to get all these numbers and technical things on and you need to find a block like this one look at the uh, you see on the left hand side if you look at looking at block the left hand side at the bottom around you say looking at block you see those numbers 30 126 and see 127 that's what we are looking for that is the uh, the most outer layer if you will of this bedrock and which means that this is the last block between us and the nothingness on the other side which is where we want to get to you just need to remember these coordinates. So that's 29, 127, and 63. Right. So if I go ahead, find yourselves a block like that. That's 127. And then what we do is we put a ladder here. And you need to kind of bob. Or you could just maybe stand on top of it. I'm not sure if that would work either. But anyway, I figured out if you put a ladder here, you stand on here, and you just kind of jump. And that ladder needs to be there because we're going to be ender pearling into this block here as we jump. And then this ladder kind of catches our foot, if you will, and then gives us that little bit of an extra boost to yeah, go through this block and end up on the other side. Or at least that's what I've seen on other videos. <laughs> so let's give that a go. <sighs> what was that? That is 29, 127, 63. I have to remember the, uh, the, the coordinates of this block because we need to uh, break this block in order to get back. Otherwise, we, you know, we'll just get stuck. And here we go. Ha! Yeah. Did it. See, this is that. 29. Yes, this is it. So, needs to remember this block instantly. Place the block on top of this. 29. Yeah, that's it. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. Um, what else is there? Now we need to do all of these things. We need to start with this. We need to put a piston facing up exactly on this block. There you go. Because whatever block, how this trick works is block directly underneath this will get blown up, which is what we want. And we need to check our coordinates. Check, 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 check. You want to check your Z coordinates, apparently, that's what I've heard. 
which is, you see, positive 63, which means you have to be looking in the direction, which is south. Yeah, towards C. C facing south, it says, towards positive Z. So if your block is in a positive, you know, um, range, you just look at in, uh, look in the, uh, the direction towards positive Z. If it was in the negative, you'd be looking towards the other side, which would be negative Z. And this is to do, what I have noticed, is to do with the bounce of the TNT. Mm -hmm. Alright, so what we use this for is to put our black redstone on. This will be used to activate the TNT, the redstone signal as well as this piston here. And uh, I'm not sure if I explained that thoroughly, but anyway. So looking towards whichever direction you're looking there, uh, that is to do with the, uh, the bounce of the TNT. That's what I've noticed, or at least that's what it seems like to me. TNT activates here, and based on which direction you're facing, it's, it bounces to here. And what we're trying to do is placing a secondary piston here, that as this TNT bounces in here, secondary piston pushes that down, and so it kind of detonates inside slash underneath this thing. Or at least that's what I've gathered. Trapdoor is the next thing. Placed it too low. There you go, that's the one. Cool, so now we are one block tall. Next thing is, we need to... Oh, right, that's the... Okay, I'm trying to get the hang of this. Now, this is where the magic comes in. We need to place the TNT, click on this, and right in the corner here, we need to place the secondary piston, so we're sort of placing it inside this block, so it pushes it down. Try that for the first time, shall we? Hopefully this works. Otherwise, I might just die. I'm just gonna try and line this better. So, TNT, right click, piston. Uh, that did not work at all. Right, try it again. Have I not got an axe? I do not have an axe on me. I'm terribly sorry for how long this is taking, but this is the way. I promise. Just testing that everything is working as it should. I think we've done it. I know it looks like failure, but this is exactly what the other videos look like. Let's see. <laughs> look at that. A hole. And that's how we do it. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway. Hope uh, this has helped some of you guys. You have uh, you've been here with me and you have witnessed my uh, the ending of my nether ceiling virginity. Yay. Good on you. <laughs> anyway, so I'm just going to build a little ladder and uh, and head on back. I have got no plans what to do with this bit up to this far. So I am going back. Thank you guys for watching. I hope it's been helpful, useful, blah, 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 blah. Um, give it a like or subscribe if you appreciate it. And uh, yeah, cheers. Have a good night.